Zany friends. I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. And we have for you the February uh, Zany Lainey collection that we wanted to show you all of the new things that we have. Some of them are from last month that were surprises. Mm -hmm. Some of them are like commissions or things that people have worked with us to create. So we wanted to show you all of that in this video. Uh, we will start first with the collections. So uh, one thing you do need to know is that we had to raise the price on not only our shipping, but also the price of our sprays, which are now going to be $6. Unfortunately, the suppliers raised the price on mm -hmm. us, so therefore we had to raise the price. And I'm sorry about that, but that's just kind of how it happens. We don't like it. We actually liked it when it was $5, because boy, that was easy to deal, to take track of. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I can just... When we're at cons, it's just like a $5 and you're mm -hmm. done. Um, so what is the theme of February's collection? Misunderstandings. What? Um, and, and misunderstanding, sorry. Um, yes, so our theme is all about a whole bunch of movies where misunderstandings were the theme um, in them. People didn't really understand it. Was it, they were all 90s movies? Yes, these are all 90s yes. movies. Mm -hmm. okay. And these actually, these movies actually, we in our Facebook group, Zany Laney, we do a lot of polls about what people want to see. And when we had 90s movies, these were some of the top ones that they wanted to see us do a mm -hmm. set from. So it, if you're wondering, you know, this it kind of seems like an odd mixture of the three movies. That's why, because yeah. these were like fan favorite 90s movies. These are the ones they wanted to see. And we also pulled a lot of people about like some of the scent blends that we use this month as well. If you are really interested in this community aspect, we do this all the time. We let people um, come in into our group and submit scents to be done. We do it once a month. Um, you'll see one of them here. Mm -hmm. We uh, then have the community vote on it. We have the community vote on um, products that they might be seeing in the future or themes or a lot of different things. So it's very community oriented and we really try that. So if you're looking for a place like that, make sure you look down below um, in the description box so that you can join. But let us start. So our very first scent is called Love Burger, and it is based on the 90s cult classic, Can't Hardly Wait, which is virtually a who's who of, yeah. of people. Like, we were watching it, because it all takes place at a party mostly, we were watching it, we're like, that's Jason Siegel, like, really, really young, and mm -hmm. that's Jennifer Love Hewitt, and you know. So many people that were like, wow, they appear in all the shows we watched. Exactly. There they go. There, there they are. The, um, the and what was also funny is that there are two guys that are in Clueless together are in the band called Love Burger. That's why we decided to name it Love Burger. So he has printed out what the desktop version will look like so that you can see it. Zoom in. So talk about your art. So in Love Burger, the artwork re recreates the cafe, the, the burger joint um, that the main character goes to kind of in the middle of the movie because he thinks he screwed things up with Amanda, the girl that he is in love with. And there he meets this stripper that's dressed as an angel who gives him a bunch of sage advice while really just bemoaning her own life. And because because he's, he's trying to call Barry Manilow, mm -hmm. and she thinks he's in love with Barry Manilow, but he's trying to call Barry Manilow to get advice about why he wrote the song Mandy because he thinks it's a sign having to do with him ending up with Amanda. Yeah. Um, so we thought, I mean, it's one of my favorite, favorite things. And side note, how I am kind of personally connected to Jenna Elfman, who plays the angel in this, is when, when I worked at uh, Disney's California Adventure, both Corey, my husband, and I opened that park. I worked in guest relations. He worked in uh, attractions. And... <laughs> He worked the water ride, you know, the, the Bear Mountain one with the, mm -hmm. okay. So she was in line. I want to say that uh, Donald Faison was also with her at the time. There was somebody else. And they were in the VIP area waiting to get on the raft. And my husband was walking along and he went to go open the gate for them. Not really realizing who it was at the time because he sees so many people. Yeah. He looks up and he has this moment with her. Like, 
he recognizes who she is, and she recognizes that he recognizes who she is, but of course you can't really acknowledge that they're celebrities. Mm -hmm. When you work in hospitality, you're not really supposed to. They're just like everybody else, right? So they have this, like, moment. And I always thought that was the coolest thing. So every time I see Jenna Elfman in a movie, I'm like, I remember this this moment that happened. And there is Sid Angel kind of sitting there up on top of the burger joint. Uh, down at the bottom, you can see the bench that they had their conversation on. And her paisley bag is there with her harp in it, the sparkly gold harp. Mm -hmm. And beside it is the letter that he wrote to Amanda that was pretty much the focus of the entire movie. Exactly. So um, as far as the scents go, somebody had asked me for a straight caramel popcorn scent. And so we decided yes, because we have had a like a chocolate caramel popcorn scent, but we haven't had just straight caramel popcorn. So that's what this this particular scent does smell like with a little bit of salt thrown in. So you have the label on here and the spray. You can also get this as a scrub and you can get it as a button art. Let's just give it a sniff again to remind us what it it's, smells like. Yeah, I remember it being mm -hmm. very heavily caramel very. with the popcorn and salt being kind of under layers of it. Mm -hmm. It's it's literally in the order caramel, popcorn, salt. That's, that's what you'll smell mm -hmm. in that order. In that order, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I do love this scent. This is like, it's my jam. It's definitely a room scent, mm -hmm. a car scent, a... You can wear it on yourself, I think, as well. But it's, like for me, it's personally, okay. it's the ones I liked for, you know, the room scent smells, yes, for sure. Because this really does smell like that big old tin of caramel popcorn that you would buy. It smells like that. Yeah, it does. You open it off and it wafts yeah. out. That's exactly how it smells. All right, our next scent is called Man with the Hands. Now, a couple things about this this and the art. Uh, like I said, it was very high on the poll list. We also had a contest in our group about who could name it. And uh, that person who ended up winning the poll was Meg, who's one of our reps. And we're actually going to talk about her again with another scent that she created, which I can't remember if we talked about last week, but we're just going to talk about it again. So Man with the Hands obviously is uh, Edward Scissorhands. Edward and uh, your art for this is interesting. You can, you can see Edward Scissorhands' his hands, hands, um, as he is m manipulating some of the topiaries around the area. Um, no, that is not the actual order of the topiaries that he's got at that castle. Um, I kind of flip-flopped some of them around, had fun with that. Um, originally, the lion that you see over here oh, was going to be one of the lions from The Shining. Yeah, but I didn't do that. Um, <laughs> but you can clearly see the castle and the night moon. Um, it's very kind of got a, a little bit of an ethereal, nebulous feel going on there, which is kind of the feel that the movie gave you. This mm -hmm. kind of um, almost cartoonified world that he's in. Mm -hmm. And the scent notes for this is marshmallows, chocolate, and peppermint. We wanted this to smell like a peppermint s'more. Mm. Yes, kind of. Like a, a peppermint patty, but like very marshmallowy. Yeah. Almost like instead of using like the plain Hershey's chocolate, you just stuck that in the peppermint patty inside of your s'more and that's what just you're... Just kind of getting some of the feel of that, the Christmas time smell. The 50s, that you got 60s. back in that scene where they're trying to go find him. Mm -hmm. um, that That sort of thing. And of course you can get that in a spray, a scrub, and a button as well. And... Yeah, it smells like mostly just like a peppermint patty and the marshmallow is very like faint yeah. in the background there. Like if you had had them do a special peppermint patty with some marshmallows in it. This is going to make a great mm -hmm. room scent as well. This is a, a really good, I'd say car scent actually. Oh yes, probably so a car, really scent. car scent. Every time you get in you like start craving chocolate. Yeah. Our last scent for the themed month is called my condition and it is based on the movie big lebowski um i i used to watch this movie a lot like i think i think it's a really funny movie it's kind of a weird movie okay um in this movie the dude uh he likes to drink white russians that's like his drink mm -hmm. so we decided to create this the scent based on the white russian that he drinks throughout this entire movie 
Um, and for the art, actually, it's really cool. This art is based very much on the the dream sequences that he has when he gets knocked out. Mm -hmm. And during one of them, he goes to this, it's almost like a bowling alley, dance floor area yeah. um, with a whole bunch of dancers. And he gets thrown down a singular lane that's in the middle of space. And we, we have that, but also floating around in there, you have, uh, you have the bowling ball and you can see you see his legs are sticking out of it from one of the scenes where he gets run over by a bowling ball. Um, you have the suitcase that's filled with dirty underwear. You have the rug, which sparked the whole incident. Um, time to bowl, and you've got a white Russian that's actually floating around in there. The signage feels very much like a, an old-style bowling alley. And the reason we called it My Condition was the during the dream sequences, the music what condition my condition was in was playing. So that's where mm -hmm. it all from. Call it my condition. Um, the scent notes is coffee, cream, and vodka. So you're gonna get an alcoholic note and you're gonna get that like creamy note. This does not come in a scrub. It only comes in a spray and a button because it has cinnamon in it. And of course, cinnamon causes the weird things to oh, happen nice. to your skin, just in case. Oh, yes. You can really smell the cinnamon in this too. Mm -hmm. Like. It really, not only does it, some people have said it smells like eggnog to them, and some people have said it smells like the It is, scent. however, a good wake-up scent. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is really good for, like, being in the kitchen when you're making your breakfast, just, like, having that kind of flowing around the room just mm -hmm. kind of gives you that little bit of wake-up. Yeah, for yeah, sure. I like that. So that is our collection. Um, so a couple things I did forget to mention. We are no longer doing a week of a party. We are now doing a different scent every week all month long. So you're going to get two deals every week. Um, you are going to get two parties with prizes every week. And the parties run from Sunday through Friday. So there'll be one deal that's going to run from like Sunday to Tuesday and then one that's going to run from Wednesday to Friday. So the only day we're not doing anything is Saturday. You'll have the entire week to get both deals, but after that point, the deals are gone. They are about one to two dollars cheaper, or it could be even better deal in the group than it is on our website. The first one, in fact, this week, um, we are highlighting my condition. So every week, like I said, we're going to have a different uh, scent. So like, I think next week is Love Burger, and the week after that is Man with the Hands, and the week after that is another scent we're going to talk about, um, our one-off scent usually. So if you are interested in getting my condition this week at a cheaper price, you want to check out in the group, uh, both on Sunday and on Wednesday to see what the two deals are. Um, another way to try all of our products is our sample bundle. And so every month we put together a little bundle of the uh, three cents so that you can try it in a smaller form and instead of having to buy the bigger thing. These are $10. Um, we don't offer a discount on this because they are so cheap to begin with. We just don't. So this month, this is what you get. So of course, uh, the one of the things that we do is wax, but we only do it in limited quantities. So one of the things you're gonna get in the sample bundle, bundle is the wax. It's going to be in the My Condition set, which I think is gonna be great. It's gonna be like creamy wax. We haven't actually made it in the wax yet, but we always show you <laughs> gonna get a clamshell of it um, because we can only do it in limited batches. So that is what you will get inside here. What do you think of it as a wax smell? I, like I said, like this is really good to have in a wax warmer in your kitchen um, just to help you wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. I think that's, it's a really good one. Um, yeah, just, we don't have a huge amount of just creamy ones. We tend to have yeah. like bakery ones mm -hmm. or fruity ones that we had in the wax before. So this is a really different scent yes. than we normally would have in the wax. I think it really works well. I agree with you. Then the scrub, which is a two ounce container of the scrub is going to be in Love Burger. So you're gonna get that caramel popcorn in your shower. So, so good. Like. I, I, I used a little bit of, of one of these and I was just like, ooh, I love this a lot. And then you're going to get a four milliliter, I've been saying 12, I don't know where I got that number. It's four milliliters of man with the hands in spray form. So that is going to be the peppermint patty uh, cookie 
spray. So you're going to get a little bit of that so you can try that out. And then the last thing you're going to get is art. So you're going to get randomly one of the buttons um, of any of the art for the month. It could be the main collection, it could be the one-off set art button, but you will also get a button with the art in it as well. Um, it just is very random how we choose who gets it. So that is what you get for the $10 bundle and it's actually it's pretty cheap. Yeah, for what, we're for what you're getting, you're, you're getting a pretty good amount. It is. Uh, one of the things we wanted to show you real quick is we talked about our scent Hark, which is our mystery scent for the advent calendar we did last year. And then we had a contest in our group for someone to help us with the design of it. Um, so that person was Andrea. She's another one of our reps. Our reps tend to win a lot because they're always in the group. Yeah. So they, they tend to enter and then like nobody else enters. So guys, you should go and like enter. If you're not a rep, you should do this. Yeah. And if you want to be a rep, um, we have some pretty cool incentives for people who are reps. But anyway, we wanted to show you the actual art for Hark. And again, the scent notes are peanut butter cookie and candy apples. It's very Christmassy, but it's definitely also a year-round scent. Mm -hmm. So show them what the art is like. The artwork shows all of the Peanuts characters in silhouette that are uh, surrounding the Christmas tree after they've all decorated it together. And you can see uh, Sally in her angel outfit there. We have a theme of people in angel outfits. Um, <gasps> Uh, but there, there is stuff going on in the in the artwork around here. I did do hand drawn characters here, um, and um, I think in one of our blogs we do show it um, that I that we did it without the silhouettes on them. So that is actually a digital effect that I added. So if you get the digital artwork of this, you'll get it in both the form with and without that silhouette effect, and so you can see all the stuff that's going on like Peppermint Patty is edging over to hold Charlie Brown's hand because in the comics she actually does have a crush on him. It's, it's so cute. Yeah, it's, it's great. Really and especially as a digital download, which if you're interested in digital downloads, you can get those on the site for pretty cheap. For your phone and the desktop, it all comes together. You can, one, you buy one, mm -hmm. you get it all, okay? So this, of course, is the sense you can get in a scrub, in a spray, and in a button. So. I actually really love this scent. This is my personal spray because we didn't have a real one made left yeah. over from, we sold a lot like in the yeah. last month. But yeah, this is my personal one. It's about down to here. And granted, I spray a lot of, lot of different sprays because I test them all. And the fact that it's down to here is pretty amazing. I'm just gonna say. Our next scent we're gonna talk about is what we call our one-off scent. So this is a scent that someone has submitted, that we do this monthly in the group. Uh, people will submit their ideas for scent themes and blends, and then we will put it up for a vote in the poll, and whichever one is winning is the one we do. For example, this month the we have a poll up for August, and the winning scent seems to be right now Boy Meets World, which is really like I wasn't random. Expecting it. I know. Of all the ones on the list, not what I was expecting, but the people have spoken, we're gonna do it. Uh, mm -hmm. whatever is the top one. I think you can still vote in that until the 18th. So you still have time to put your vote in if you want to. But this month is a scent created by my friend Stephanie. Also a rep. Are you seeing are you seeing what's happening here? We need more people to vote. Anyway, <laughs> this is by Stephanie, and um, she wanted something based on Hello Kitty, and so she caused, called it... Cute Kid's Bow, like which Cupid's is a play off Cupid's Bow, but it, it also kind of works because the creator of Hello Kitty later admitted that um, Kitty herself is actually a little girl in a cat costume. Mm -hmm. So you have uh, Kitty here, and she's drowning in different colors of bows, and she's like, help me, help me. So it's, it's a really cute, very basic. I love it. I, it. It's really cute. I, wanna, I, I think I want to put it on my, my work computer because it's so cute. <laughs> um, but the smell is also really nice and clear. Mm -hmm. It's nice and clean. Um, we have it based off of... Strawberries and cream. So she wanted it to be kind of like how when you... Okay, so we work at... I work at Universal. There is a Hello Kitty store. When you walk in, it actually kind of smells like this, which I thought was kind of bizarre. When she told me what it was gonna smell like, I was like, have you been to the store? You don't even live around here. How do you know it smells like this? And you get a really clear strawberry smell. Mm -hmm, but it's also clean. Yes. It's not the um, strawberry that's like, um, like a strong 
Yeah. Strawberry, it's the slightly muted, creamy strawberry. It's very creamy strawberry. Mm -hmm. um, again, you can get this in the spray. You can get this in the scrub, which is amazing as a scrub, guys. Yes, it is. And then you can also get it in uh, the button form as well. Cute kids bow. It, it is a good one. Gotta love it. Our next scent is was a surprise. Nobody knew it was coming. We were sitting around one day like, we should do this. Like, can we do this real fast? We ended up doing yeah. it. So it is because Kingdom Hearts came out on January 29th, which at this point would have been last week. And we were like, we need to do a Kingdom Hearts set. Because not only do we like it, but on our vlog... Uh, if you if you watch our vlog at all, we'll show you things that we do around town. And one of the things we did was go play a demo of Kingdom Hearts down at Disney Springs. Mm -hmm. And it was so much fun. And then we were like, we need to do a scent about Kingdom Hearts. And just surprise it during the party. And, you know, so this will happen every once in a while. Yeah. We just decided to do a surprise scent. And this one is called Wayfinder. And if you look, when Wayfinder takes place on the Destiny Islands, on the tree that's kind of bent out, as all of the characters, the, the three main ones, as well as Donald and Goofy, are just kind of watching the sunset. Um, although you can't see it through the silhouette, all of the characters are wearing their Kingdom Hearts 3 outfits. Mm. And then in between, uh, between the two characters, you see the Wayfinder item um, that... Kyrie made for them to help get them all back together again. Mm -hmm. And that is also based off of the Palpu fruit that they try to eat at the island, and mm -hmm. so is Wayfinder. This is a cranberry peaches and a promise, um, which I don't know how the promise smells, but you know, because of the fruit, that was symbolic of the promise. So this is really like a peaches and cranberry scent. I'm in love with mm -hmm. the scent. This is a really fun scent. So much. I mean, it's going to remind you a lot of summer. It came out in January, but this is definitely great going into summertime. You can, of course, get this in the spray, the scrub, and the button as well. This will only be available on the site um, because I don't think I have a deal for this one because it came out as a deal last month. It probably won't be again, but you can use a discount to get it on the site if you want to. Um, if you look in my Facebook group in the in one of the announcement posts, my reps will post their posts in the comments section and they always have a discount in there for you to use. So you can also do mm. that if you want to get that. But honestly, this it's just such a good scent. It's a really, fr it's, it's an invigorating scent. Mm -hmm. Before we move on to the uh, little other products that we have, uh, don't forget that every time that you purchase an item, you do get a pop, uh, which is called a proof of purchase. <clears throat> if you get 10 of these regular pops, you can get uh, $5 off your order. If you get the golden pop, you get an automatic $5 off your order. So you get that with every order. It's like a rewards program because we haven't set one up on the site yet. We're not sure we are. We're not, we might. I don't know. And in, in the meantime, I mean, they are kind of like collectible cards because even mm -hmm. after you've used them, you can kind of keep them. We just keep track of which ones you used. Exactly. Which ones you got. Also in our group, we have a poll every month to tell us what wax scent that we are going to make that month. We like to put together a uh, nice compilation of previous scents, maybe some that we've never done wax for before, um, and then they will vote on it. And for the month of February, it is You Know Nothing. You will be able to get this in the party, um, but you can get this only during the month of February. You can also get it on the site, but it'll be cheaper in the party as well. Um, so what this smells like is fruit, green ivy, and violets, and people have been like, fruit, what kind of fruit? It's like a mixed fruit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like berries and other types of fruits all it's together. It's like if you, if you saw a platter of fruit on one of these rich people's fr tables, there you go. It's the, the fruit. Um, and of course, the You Know Nothing scent is based on Game of Thrones, which is coming back in April. Hola! So I'm glad that people decided to do this because I think this is going to be, this is a perfect, like, really fresh and clean scent, kind of outdoorsy for your house. Beautiful. Loving it. Now let's also move on to uh, scents that don't have art. Yeah. Yes. So there are two ways you can have a scent without art. Number one, you can purchase a commission where uh, the bottom level, 
you just create a scent with us and then you get a couple bottles of the scent and then you name it yourself and then we produce it, give it to you and put it in our shop. The second way you can get a scent without an art, well actually you can also commission to get art but it's more money. Um, the second way that you can do a scent without an art is to be a rep for me and be the top seller that month and then you get to create a scent all your own. So let's start first with a commission art. This is called Death by Stereo. It was done by uh, Laura, Laura Budin Budzins uh, I can't say Budzinski. it. By Laura Budzinski. She is a member of our, our Zany Laney group and she wanted to do this for Christmas and it just took a little while to really formulate what she wanted because part of the process is we will send you a little sample of the scent that you think you want and you'll smell it see if you like it if you don't like it we do the process all over again we order more scents we figure out what you want and send it back to you at that point you're pretty much locked into it because we can't keep buying a bunch of scents that's why the commission price is so high is because we actually have to buy the fragrance oils every time you want it so it is coffee cinnamon and teak wood she really wanted it to smell like Morocco but at the same time the scent itself Death by Stereo is from Lost Boys that's what she's naming it after so um, I think I think it's interesting you can't get this in a scrub because of the cinnamon mm -hmm. but it's really like an interesting I always forget how that one smells because I didn't make it myself so it's not ingrained in my head but it smells like it is a good spiced scent it is it, it actually does relate to Lost Boys in my opinion just because like when you think of a bunch of guys that are like kind of vampire-y and they're like sitting around in a house or a cave or something, I, this is what I would think it would smell like. It, it's exotic. It uh -huh. really is. Um, so I, I, and the coffee does kind of get, make it pop up a little bit more like energetic-wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, for the month of mm, for December, this was December scent, I'm still working on the top seller for January and the top seller for February scent, so you'll see that in the next video. But uh, we did do To the Moon and Back. I think we did talk about this in our last video, but this is Meg from Pretties for Your Face. She's also a rep. She did To the Moon and Back, which is Bing Bong from Inside Out, and it is pink candy, cotton candy, and rock candy. So much candy. It's very pink and... It, it is very pink and candy. Pink, pink and sugar and candy. Oh yeah, that, that's some sugary it's, stuff it's, going but, on. Oh, it's oh, so yeah. good. And you know, it, it's totally fitting when you have it in the sugar scrub. It is. It's all together. Sugar, I might sugar, steal sugar. this one, actually. I forgot how much I like it. Alright, we're gonna steal that one. Let's go into my personal stash. That is everything, guys. We made it. <laughs> um, there's a lot of stuff. One... Thing, actually two things we should probably tell you um, in the future that we're not going to be putting out themed collections every month but we will still have a video and we will still be bringing you uh, a little the one-off sense and a little like other surprises along the way the reason why we're doing this is because I feel like we're just throwing too many cents your way and we need a break so every other month we'll be bringing out a collection for you don't worry it will still be lots and of great we're sense. still doing the one-off sense every month we are so yeah. it's not like you won't get a scent every month but you will um the next thing is let's tell you about next month so excited so next month's theme is going to be called cool and collected and it is based on alan rickman so it's like three of alan rickman's movies but we're not going to tell you which ones yet but believe me you guys will be there'll be something for everyone yeah in this, actually in this and, and i've really enjoyed doing the artwork so far it's a little slower going than some other ones but mm -hmm. it, it's gonna be a good payoff so that's march and then april will be what we're gonna call a blank month meaning there'll be no collection that month but we have so many good things planned this year like i'm, I'm yeah. so excited it's gonna correspond with a lot of different movies coming out um correspond with tv like uh, it's just, it's gonna be great you guys are you guys need to stick around and and see what's going to happen. But uh, thank you so much for sticking in there and watching this whole video with us. And until next time. Stay zany.